Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios uh, photographer today. This is a hallway in one of the churches in the Philippines. It's called San Agustin Church. And um, I like the play of um, the light and the shadows in this uh, photograph. It's not black and white, but it's almost black and white because the surrounding is a, an old church uh, built by the Augustinians. Hi, um, happy Valentine's Day. Today is the 14th of February 2014. So that's 2, 14, 14. That's a nice uh, combination of numbers. So I'd like to invite you to check my website at ilmaarts.com. And uh, in the background is one of my um, abstract works. So I'd like to share with you today my poem devotional which is uh, in tune with the theme of the day which is love in first corinthians 13 7 says that love never gives up never loses faith is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance and that is extracted again from first corinthians 13 verse 7 the truth about love this is a poem I wrote um, in connection with this verse. Romantic love is something we fall for and outgrow. It is a feeling that is intoxicating but eventually goes. It is when we have our blinders on and we cannot really see. We are so overwhelmed to notice the other person's real personality. The truth about love is it never gives up nor loses faith. It is always hopeful and endures through circumstances and fate. It is beyond feelings of ecstasy and passion which are all momentary. It is a commitment to stay forever and be together despite adversaries. And here's the essay part of the devotional. I had a very wrong notion of love before I got married. Society has bombarded us with romantic love through movies, television, media, books, magazines, and other sources. No wonder we have been blinded with the real meaning of love because media has sensationalized love unrealistically and misled many to believe that it is a feeling. Romanticizing love probably contributed and misled many to believe that it is a feeling and um, it has led to so many frustrations and hopelessness in many people. The way advertising plays up the requirements for you to be loved by someone is ridiculously foolish. The truth about love is clearly stated in the Bible. It is a commitment to never give up, never lose faith, and endure every circumstance. Prayer. Lord, break all wrong notions I have of love. Reflection. How does the truth about love affect you? And that is the end of the poem and the essay devotional. And here is the testimonial part of the devotional. Um, yes, um, I think because society has bombarded me with uh, all kinds of notions about romantic love, I actually pursued romantic love all my life, not knowing that that is not the real meaning of love. And so I got in trouble when I started... Uh, um, my first few years of uh, being married is like it's ridiculous because this romanticized notion of love is not, not real it doesn't happen um, and that's why the term falling in love is actually um, not love it's not real love because when you fall you don't fall out of love. you don't fall in love you you commit to love you commit to that person. You commit to your um, to your vow. You commit to you follow through whatever you you vowed to, to each other, 
and whether it's worse or good, you have to stay with each other. And I think that it is good for singles to think about this because um, I think this is one of the reasons why there's so many singles who's already reaching their 30s and still have, haven't had any relationship with anybody is because they have a wrong notion of love. Love is not looking for somebody um, to have that feeling, that mushy feeling that um, somebody loves you, somebody wants to hold you or something. But love, real love, according to the Bible, is a commitment. So, in other words, when two people live in with each other and they really haven't committed to each other in, um, in action, in words, then that's not love because when you don't commit, then you don't, you don't love somebody. You are just there. And if the worst part is like when you're just there to find out whether that person is going to meet your need because that is not love. Um, love is actually going out of your way to know somebody, to, to meet the need of that person and not for, for you to find out how that person is going to meet your need. Because in, 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 in effect, when you meet the other person's need, then that is a commitment that you made for that person and that you are actually following through that commitment. So when that person, when that person's need is given, and then I think what happens is that other person does the same thing to you. So if you're there for a relationship just to get what you want, I think that relationship is not going to last long. So I won't expound so much on this because love is a very controversial um, concept, a matter to talk about, and it... It can just go on and on. So I'd like to end that poem devotional today. And I hope that um, the first thing that you should learn to love is God. Because God is love. And He created us out of love. So if we do something not out of love, then that is not our nature. And that God eventually will convict us and make us see that what we're doing or what we believe in is not the real thing. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com and that, um, that you will have a good Valentine's whether you're single or with somebody. Even if you're single, I think you should be blessed to know that when, when you're single, you have more time for God and you have more time to plan for your, for your, for your um, to, to align your life to God's plans um, without somebody else's um, um, without consulting anybody else but God. So thanks for watching and have a happy, happy hearts day. Keep your hearts pure and uh, close to God. Thanks for watching again.